I'm anxious. Good day, everybody, and welcome back to another day on Operation Oregon. Today, I'm going to open my indoor season, and I'm going to run my first race of 2022. I'm going to run 160, and then another 60, and then 100 meter to end off this uh, indoor meet. It's going to be my first competition in about four months. It's nice to feel that nervousness again. I haven't felt it in a pretty long time, so good to be back. <laughs> this week started out pretty well on Monday. Then on Wednesday, I was going to have a sprint session, but my hamstring started acting out a little bit weird. Had to take an easy day. Then on Thursday, I had a bit of a technical session. Just tested out my hamstring to see if everything was good. Um, we didn't take any times, but I was happy with how it was feeling. And my coach gave me a thumbs up for this meet today. <laughs> So yesterday I just did a little bit of an easy warm-up, then I had a little bit of a warm-up this morning and uh, now I'm pretty much ready to race my first race of the season. Feeling like it's one of my most important seasons yet, especially the indoor season will be really important when considering the 200 meter world ranking. Since the outdoor season ended I have actually climbed the world ranking and European ranking a little bit. This was my ranking right after the 2021 season ended, uh, here is my progression through the autumn. And this is now my final ranking uh, after the New Year's update. And here is my ranking compared to the zero mark, where the zero mark is uh, a qualifying ranking for the championships. So on to today. I got woken up by my cat this morning. Uh, I went downstairs to make some breakfast. I had a little bit of a warm up and some jumping to prepare for this meet. And now, um, I'm actually getting quite nervous. Here I have my plan for the day set and ready so that I don't have to think too much. And I can just focus on my sprinting. I'm honestly like cold sweating right now, like I'm wearing wool, but. I'm, I'm freezing. After finishing this video, I'm going to go eat some Greek yogurt. At about 14.20, I'm gonna get my gear, head out to the car and drive to the competition grounds. Can nervousness make you freeze? According to West Maria Counseling College, freezing can also be triggered when we experience anxiety or panic in our everyday life. Apparently, I'm anxious. <laughs> Another excuse. About 20 minutes before I warm up, I'll arrive at the competition site. I'll lay down, relax a little bit, visualize my race, and get ready to warm up. At least I'm not freezing anymore. At about 15.10, I'll start warming up and get ready to race.
About 10 minutes before the start, I'll be done with my warm up and ready to race. At 1625, I'll run my first 60 of the day. After the race, I will probably be happy with some things and less happy with some others. The things I'm less happy with, I'll try to visualize and work on towards the second 60 meters. Hey, Ellen, what's your topic? Come up. Come up. But it can be a little after the little thing. I put egg shiver a little longer, so I can stretch it all out. Hey, sure. I play it so far so far. I'll lay down, visualize, eat a little bit, and get ready for a new round. I'll do a couple of drills and technical runs to stay warm through the next round. At 17.10, I'll run the second 60 meter. Hopefully in this 60 meter, I fixed what was wrong in my previous one. I'm hoping that I will run around 6.8 and at least not above 6.9. After that 60, I might be happy, I might be mad. Either way, I'll probably lay down, get a little bit to eat and uh, try to refocus before the 100 meter. About 40 minutes before the 100, I'll start to move around a little bit again and get ready for my last race of the day. Around 20 minutes before the 100, I'll do my last technical run. I do not need to run any maximal runs as I've already done two in the 60 meters. And 10 minutes before the 100, I'm ready. I'll lay down and relax and just visualize my race. At 18.30, we'll start the 100. After the 100, I'll probably have some mixed feelings about the day. So my feelings are actually not that mixed. Uh, I had the same time as in my season opener last year. Uh, hopefully some things to work on towards my next meets. Really good start, not that good transition in the 60. And also a pretty good 100 meter with 10.55 to finish off. So uh, that means I'm probably in a 21 low shape right now. Uh, hopefully we'll go a little bit faster. My plan is to run a 200 in eight days. Um, maybe a couple of 60s also. So after all of this, I'll thank you guys for watching another episode of Operation Oregon. Well, that's that for today. I'll catch you guys another day. Thank you for watching and uh, an extra thank you to the members. Really appreciate the support and I'll catch you guys on my next meet in Oslo. Peace. Yeah.